Hello, today we're having a look at an ASUS laptop uh, model F555L. Um, it's one a customer had bought in and he already replaced his screen uh, to find that there's no display. Um, I've already took the liberty of checking the LVDS cable, uh, which is the low voltage data signal cable, which is from the motherboard to the screen for bent pins and it's okay. Um, I've also tried a test screen one is actually already damaged but does still work just to confirm that it's not the screen that's the problem so obviously it's got a motherboard issue so let's uh, pull it down and we'll have a look okay now we have the, the, the top removed off the laptop the keyboard comes off with the housing um, now the main area I'm, I'm concerned about is this um, um, data cable here, the connector make sure it's all okay uh, there is two points here um, so we'll just power this up with two voltage points we can check and we'll just power this thing up and she's firing up and she's got no display okay so we find an earth point and on the board which is usually a metal metal part of the board um, this LBS should have a couple of voltages on it um, so we just pick an earth point say this screw here uh, measure from this pin here and we have 18.73 volts that's correct, but when we are over here on this pin, zero. So that point there, which is a, a three volt signal, should come up to that LBS cable to, to turn on the LCD. The main rail is there, but this little sub rail is not there. Now it is controlled by this chip. Now if we put a multimeter coming on the input of there, we notice we have 3.25 volts coming in but nothing coming out okay so the input to this chip is driven by this IC which comes via this resistor now what I'll do, I'll take a, a, a zoom up close photograph of this and put it on the video so you can actually see what, what I'm talking about um, the output from this chip which is on this point here should have 3.4 volts and it's zero so I say this is the culprit when he's plugged the screen in he must have shorted this out because the battery is actually the internal battery it still has voltage up to this point um, so say he shorted something out and he's taken this chip out so what we'll do we'll pull this chip off and we'll just throw another chip on thank you okay we're back Gonna, just going to pull this chip off. Let's get prepared here. So I'm just going to quickly put some insulation tape just around this chip. Just to stop the heat damaging the board. Um, also, probably before I oh, here. okay, probably before I start, probably wouldn't be good good be a good idea to remove the battery because there is power still on the board. So we don't want it booting up. Unfortunately, I can't show you the microscope view because I'm just weighing on my camera. Okay, so what I'm doing now is just going to put some insulation around this chip here. Um, heat proof, just to stop the heat destroying everything around it. Okay. Now, just so we don't get a bit of a dry joint, pull the pull the uh, solder tracks up. We will put a little bit of flux on. Okay. Now, 
Okay, let's get this baby off. I've got the hot air set on about 400 degrees with the airflow around about 48. Just a bit of gentle heat around and around the IC. Not far away. We'll take a little bit of getting off because there's a. It's actually soldered under the under the chip as well. There she goes, she's off. Okay, I'll be back, I'll be back, I'll be back, back with the next part. Okay, now we've got our replacement chip, which I managed to have to pull off another board, which is lucky and doing the same process. So all we have to do now is try to align the chip up uh, to the original solder points. Now make sure uh, all the solder points are clean. Uh, there's enough solder on there for the chip to go back on. Also um, a little bit of flux. And uh, here we go. We'll see how we go about lining this back up. So obviously you have a little mark on the board where pin 1 is. So make sure that's the chip is the right, right, right way around. Um, the chip's also got a little dot on that side corner as well. So what we're going to do, we're going to try and... Uh, this one's not too bad because this has got little squares on the board which actually help us locate where the chip should be. So that, that's uh, a bit of a bonus here. So we're looking, at, looking pretty good there. Over just a fraction. That's not too far away. Okay, we'll see how we go. Might just pump up the air to fifty five.
Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to zoom into the microscope and check if those points are okay. So, back shortly. Okay, welcome back. Um, I've got the motherboard reassembled. We have power, and hopefully, uh, this little display driver chip is going to do the job. Um, we know we have got three volts uh, now. We now have got three volts at that point. Uh, I've got the display put back in there and uh, ready for the test. Here we go. And voila, she's a goer. All fixed. Thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe. See you later.